Hello, I'm Shomik, and I'll be presenting our work Enhancing Vessel Continuity in Deep Learning Based Segmentation Using Maximum Intensity Projection as Loss. I have no financial interest to declare. Small vessels in the brain, such as the LSA, which supply blood to the basal ganglia, are the terminal branches of the arterial vascular tree. Pathology of these small vessels is associated with aging, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. Segmentation and quantification of these small vessels is a critical step in the study of cerebral small vessel disease or CSVD. The 7 Tesla time of flight MRA is capable of depicting such small vessels non-invasively. Manual segmentations of these vessels can be reliable, but it is time consuming and laborious. On the other hand, semi-automated techniques require extensive manual parameter tuning. Deep learning approaches can perform segmentation without manual intervention, but typically require large datasets for training. Semi-supervised techniques, such as DS6, have been seen to perform well with limited training data, but require further improvements in terms of vessel continuity. This research aims to improve vessel continuity using maximum intensity projection as an additional loss term. In this work, we have used a unit model with multi-scale supervision from DS6 as the network backbone. This is a unit model where loss is calculated not only on the final output of the model, but at multiple scales by taking two intermediate outputs from the network in addition to the final one. The additional intermediate outputs are first supplied to fully connected convolution layers, and then they are interpolated to get original input size. All these three outputs are compared against the ground truth for loss calculation, and a weighted sum of these three is backpropagated to train the model. Let's now have a look at the proposed framework. In this patch-based training framework, the network receives the 3D patches as input and predicts the label in multiple scales to compute the MSS loss. Then the maximum intensity projections of the predictions for each patch at each level of unit MSS is computed and compared against their corresponding MIPs obtained from the MIP of the whole ground truth volume. This gives us the MIP loss. The final loss that was optimized to train the model is a weighted sum of these two loss terms. To evaluate the proposed framework, we use the seven Tesla TOF MRAs from the Study Forest dataset, from which 10 volumes were used for training and four each for validation and testing. The training and validation sets were annotated semi-automatically using Elastic, while the testing set was manually annotated and then verified by a senior neuroradiologist. 3D patches with a patch size of 64 were used for our approach. Focal to Versky loss was used as the loss function for both MIP as well as MSS loss. The total loss was optimized using the Atom Optimizer with a learning rate of 0.0001. Five-fold cross-validation was performed to have a bias-free evaluation. Now let's have a look at the results quantitatively using DICE and JACAT index. As we had one volume with wraparound artifact in the test set, we performed two sets of evaluations, one including the volume with this artifact and one without. We additionally evaluated unit as a network backbone. It can be observed that in both evaluation scenarios, MIP loss improved the performance of both unit and unit MSS models, while unit MSS with MIP loss came out as the winning method. While doing qualitative comparisons of four regions of interest, we can also clearly observe the improvements in vessel continuity with the help of MIP loss. Now to conclude, we proposed a maximum intensity projection-based loss term here and demonstrated that it improves segmentation quality both quantitatively and also in terms of vessel continuity. This method also has secured the second position on the secret test set at the Smile Ahura Vessel Segmentation Challenge this year. In future, we plan to experiment with further variations of MIP loss like replacing the patch-based framework with a complete volumetric one and also multi-orientation MIP. Moreover, we will be attempting to perform semi-supervised training like combining the MIP loss with the DS6 framework. 
The code of this work is publicly available on GitHub. Thank you so much for your attention and looking forward to your questions and feedback.